So, this is the heater voltage. Um, uh, I first tried to run it with uh, DC, but uh, due to my voltage doubler here, I got some interference uh, um, with the diode section and uh, I had a little bit hum on the plate voltage auto according to the modulation of the ground because the ground is lifted of course by the voltage doubler and I uh, had to, to think about a, a little workaround I just coupled uh, the two ground rings two groundings from the different uh, voltages through a resistor of about 100 ohms and it works very well because when I put the volume the in input volume down and the master volume up you hear at least nothing and so it works my uh, slightly high resistance ground path because the heater just needs uh, to be to feel the ground not to be hardly ground uh, hard grounded if the heater just feels the uh, the ground then it um, enough to get rid of uh, hum and noise from the heater because all, all tubes I've used are heated indirectly of course oh that's a good thing to show you the back side because it's uh, really uh, crowded inside here we go mm, just maybe uh a bit more like this. You saw the output tubes, and here above is the preamp tube, the speaker. This is the output tranny, and here the space left underneath the speaker is for the power supply, and it fits well inside. I just checked it. Here is the the cover of the. Uh, I have to remove the. Uh, back wi uh, wiring because I just lay it down over there inside so put it back again it it fits I know it because I have tried it, uh, tried it before so okay and this is where the The components are for the amplifier. Okay, so just flip the camera over again. So, of course, there has to go um, a little indicator tube inside, but um, I haven't done the mechanics for that for for that tube because uh, this is um, this plate is not the final one because I want to do um, a really professional looking face plate and I will do it or a company do it for me is very famous here in Germany for doing that for a really good price but one by one and uh, first I have to put all the electronics and components and uh, rest inside there and if it's fully running and I know 
uh, no more issues then I will uh, do the finally faceplate meanwhile I use this one mm, oh, let's switch another one so, here we go. just give it a little bit This is the input volume, by the way. This is the bass control, treble control, and master volume. Where even the weak signal from the MP3 player is able to distort uh, the input and use maximum input level. That's one benefit to when running tubes with uh, a low plate voltages, uh, which we I do it now because uh, 125 is not uh, so much for this uh, PCL tubes are used here. I experiment this with uh, when I do the breadboard video. I run it from about or with about uh, 200 volts and maybe a little more. But less plate voltage is, is okay because the speaker isn't capable of uh, delivering or handle 12 watts. So. Uh, Slightly less plate voltage is uh, a little bit better just to prevent the speaker from being blown away. And uh, another benefit is I got more distortion from low levels. Nice to hear. I don't know if the YouTube compression. masks this distortion I don't know but I hear it very good so and that's it for now YouTube thanks for watching and I'm back when this unit is a little bit more finished until then bye bye